good morning adventurers. Today we are in St. Louis, Missouri. Did you know that this city is the birthplace of a bunch of super interesting dishes like gooey butter cake, something called a slinger, and of course St. Louis style ribs and a whole bunch of other things. So today we're on a mission to try some of the most interesting and delicious looking foods on the list. Hope you're hungry. Up first, we are at the Mud House, uh, which is downtown in St. Louis, and we are trying their slinger. Um, one thing to note, they have a vegan slinger, so everyone can come and enjoy it. But you can add ham or bacon to this one. Um, I think some of them you can add like uh, burger patties, and sometimes they have like meat, chili, and stuff like that. There's all different kinds. We're really excited to see what this one's all about. It's supposed to be highly rated, so I think it's gonna be delicious. We're starting off with a little black tea because we need a little caffeine <laughs> in our lives. Yes, please. So a slinger is typically more of a greasy spoon type of place. Uh, that's where you go to usually get it. But this place came highly recommended and we wanted something a little bit, uh, since on these food vlog days we eat so much bad stuff and we have a lot of uh, high calorie foods in store for us today. Um, we wanted to eat something that was maybe a little bit more on the healthy side. <laughs> so I guess the only difference you would get is at a diner a lot more grease and then um, a really meaty chili and then like really fine hash browns. But it looks like we have some eggs here, fried potatoes, we got the chili, we got onions, which sorry Eric, you don't like this, but uh, that's one of the big ingredients. And then a huge side of bacon. can't go wrong with chili potatoes and eggs right and then any sort of meat it's fantastic it's actually black bean chili I imagine you can get any kind of chili and I also read that you can get it without beans if you don't like them um, but ours is really well seasoned I mean it just tastes kind of like your run-of-the-mill chili I guess but uh, a little bit healthier with the black beans and you guys it has so much cheese in there it's magnificent all right it's my turn to give this a try now Oh man, that is so good. It tastes like, you know, the type of, the taste of the chili is kind of like, it just reminds me of like a chili dog. You know, it's just like straight up classic seasoned chili. It's really good. And adding the bacon in there is awesome. It's, this, look at this bacon. This bacon is freaking perfect. That is what I want my bacon to look like. And I'm not even a huge bacon fan because it's never quite done right. This is awesome. So we're eating the Slinger for breakfast, but what we read was that it's a very popular like a uh, drunk food or a hangover food So it's really popular with the late night crowd So I imagine people you know really late at night after they've been drinking they'll go to like a greasy spoon place and pick up something like this lesson. St. Louis was home to the 1904 World's Fair. And it was actually known as the Louisiana Purchase Exposition back then and a ton of really interesting foods were believed to have been invented there. Yeah things like Dr. Pepper, um, the waffle or the what is it? The waffle cone? Yeah the waffle cone, the ring spun cotton candy, uh, even sweet tea. But the truth is that a lot of these foods weren't actually invented there but they were popularized there so you have St. Louis to thank for a lot of the sweet junk food that we know and love today. So we've just been exploring the city a bit and I really needed to get a haircut and we found this random uh, Airstream that, that they do haircuts. So I went in, got myself a new do. Nice. <laughs> but anyways, I think we're gonna head off to our next place. Oh, we're gonna go eat some pizza, you guys. to a place called Farachi Pizza, which is this unassuming little place just off the highway, and there's a couple locations in St. Louis that we could find, but this one is in a town called Ellisville, which is just outside of the main city center. But they're supposed to have some really excellent pizza and toasted ravioli, which we're about to try. At first, we are trying these little toasted raviolis, which are just what you think. They are little raviolis that have been fried, so they're nice and crispy. We got it with tomato sauce, but you could also get it with butter sauce. Um, but they say that it was originated here in a neighborhood called The Hill, although in Sicily they do eat um, fried raviolis that are referred to as meat pillows. So some people say that they were originally invented there, but rumor has it, it was St. Louis. It is like a little meat pillow. Is it? <laughs> yeah. 
It's really good. It just kind of like bursts with flavor when you bite into it. So I think it's just kind of a Italian sausage that's in there. And it makes it nice and salty with the uh, tomato sauce on there. It's a very good combination. So the pizza has arrived and it looks magnificent. So one of the unique things about St. Louis style pizza is that they use a certain type of cheese that's really only popular here. You really don't find it anywhere else. It's called Provel. It's cheddar, Swiss, and provolone kind of mixed together. And you buy it in this big old block and uh, it makes it like really buttery, but it's really not popular anywhere other than St. Louis. So that's why if you want to try it on a proper St. Louis pizza, you got to come here. It's the only way you can do it. So we just kind of got a small pizza to share and uh, you can kind of design your own. So we got pepperonis on there and tomatoes and just kept it simple. They fry it to where it's super thin and it's almost like a kind of crackery because they don't really put yeast in it. So it makes for a really unique style of pizza. Plus they uh, bake it square and they cut it into squares. So no triangle pizza here. <laughs> she did warn us it was going to be too hot. <laughs> Does it taste as good as it looks? Because it looks awesome. It's so good. That cheese really is. It's really creamy and buttery. It is very hot. <laughs> but you can see how uh, thin the crust in there is. It really, it actually looks like a little cracker. It's very delicious. The cheese is interesting. It doesn't really taste like any other cheese that I've had. It's very, very creamy. It's almost like, um, it's almost a little bit like Velveeta or something, do you think? Yeah, that's it's what very, I very going buttery. For. The texture is definitely. Yeah. We kept the uh, uh, tomato sauce from the ravioli. <laughs> oh yeah, we did. So now we got a little dip. Uh -huh. Oh, heck yeah. So we weren't really sure what to expect because this place doesn't exactly look like much, but we were pleasantly surprised. I have to say, that was one of the best pizzas I've ever had. It was very unique and it tasted really good. It was really fresh. It was so fresh, yes. Yeah. Now we've come to a place called Russell's Cafe and Bakery. This place is known for its gooey butter cake. It has all sorts of different flavors. Did it say how many different types? No, I think I saw maybe like 10 or something on yeah. their site. Ooh, so they have man. a bunch of them. So we're gonna pick out a couple and try some. We're also gonna get some uh, coffee and just chill and get some work done. So we got ourselves a couple of giant iced coffees and I went with the kind of regular style butter cake and Allison went with the chocolate chip which looks freaking amazing. Gooey butter cake is made with cake flour, uh, lots of butter, eggs, and then it's topped with powdered sugar. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can eat all of this. You're not going to be able to finish the Oh, it is so good. <laughs> My teeth already hurt, though. There's so much sugar. It's very, uh, it's a lot more crunchy than I thought it would be. It's kind of a big bite. I probably should have gotten a smaller one. <laughs> oh, well. It's so good. It reminds me of, like, you know, anytime we've had, like, tea and biscuits at kind of a nice place, mm -hmm. this is, like, the biscuits that you kind of eat with the tea. But it is very, very rich and freaking just fantastic. I'm literally just gonna get a scoop of just the top stuff and try it. <laughs> Is that wrong? Oh no, it's all right. <laughs> oh man. It's like um... It's like custard, right? It's like, like custardy. Creme, creme brulee. Oh yeah, but creme brulee. That's what it really reminds me of. Oh, man, man. That cream with that powdered sugar is just insanely good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's really really rich so this will give you a stomach ache quick but man is it delicious. So we've been sitting at the bakery for the last few hours. I managed to finish up a vlog, but oh, yeah. I'm feeling very, very faint because I think I had a bit of a sugar rush from earlier. I told you guys, we're really bad at eating sugar. <laughs> so I think we're gonna rush to our next spot. We are heading to... We are going to Sugar Fire for some St. Louis style ribs. So check it out, uh, Sugar Fire was actually recommended to us by the barber that we went to earlier. We were going, yeah. going to go to a different place, but we figure you're always better off going with the locals' recommendation, I think. So we've arrived, and as you can see, there's a huge line, which is usually a good sign. So we've ordered our ribs, and they look magnificent. We also got a side of 
half-baked beans, which is kind of spilling over, and it's a mix of brown and black beans, which is awesome. We've got a potato mix here that's supposed to be potato and cabbage, so I think there's some cabbage kind of mixed in there. First, we're gonna sauce this thing up with a St. Louis sweet. Oh man, I think these are gonna be super tender. They're pulling apart so easily. It is so good. I mean, just, it's ridiculously amazing. It is nice and crispy on the outside, but so juicy on the inside. It's like perfectly smoked and sweet. And the barbecue sauce on top is just awesome. I don't know if I've ever been this excited to try something on a food vlog. <laughs> Jeez Louise, man. <laughs> it's insane, man. The meat, literally, like you can see it, it just falls right off in there and it's super juicy. Oh yeah, that is so good. You know, I'm not sure if, if you know, maybe we should try, should have tried it without the sauce, I don't know, but the sauce really adds like a kick to it because it's super sweet and a little bit tangy. It's very, very good. I've never really been a fan of ribs and I've just been trying them this year and they're freaking awesome. It's my new favorite barbecue. That was seriously some of the best barbecue I've ever had. And we've had a lot of good barbecue in Texas, and I would have never thought that St. Louis had that good a barbecue. No, I am definitely a recent rib convert. I always thought it was too much work, too messy, but they're so good. I mean, just wash your hands afterwards, easy. By the way, we, we forgot to mention that uh, we actually made a video last year where we came to St. Louis and did a bunch of like fun and free things. There's actually a ton of stuff to do in this city on the cheap. So that way you spend your money on the delicious food and not the sights. <laughs> but we'll link to that one in, in the description below. So that's all for today. If you guys enjoyed this little adventure of ours, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, leave us a comment, let us know what you thought about it. Yeah, and as always, we will uh, put the prices of everything we ate today down below, as well as links to everywhere we went so that you can go there when you come and visit. Good night, adventurers. We'll see you on the road.